Genesis 3.15 says, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. And he shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. Well, if you're joining us in reading through the 60-day reading plan, today's reading is Genesis 3, 8 through 15, and I encourage you to read that passage. Now, Genesis chapter 3 is probably the most devastating chapter, and at the same time, the most exciting chapter of the entire Bible. It's the most devastating chapter because it discusses Adam and Eve's sin. This sin changed the entire world. No longer would it be a place of peace and comfort, but rather it would be a place of pain and grief. It's the most exciting chapter because of verse 15. In this verse, we're told that God would provide a redeemer for us, a person who would bring us back into a personal relationship with him. He would be human, and yet he would be able to restore that relationship. In chapter 4, Eve expresses her faith in that promise through thinking that Cain was the Redeemer. Celebrating the advent of Christ's birth is one of the most exciting times of the year. I remember the expectation that Tony and I had while, we, while she was carrying our four children. We should have that same excitement and expectation in our walk on that celebratory day on the 25th of December. But what is it that we're celebrating? Is it physical or is it spiritual? Is it getting new toys? And yes, even adults get toys. They just tend to be more expensive than the kids' toys. Or is it the celebration of our relationship with God is based on being restored through this birth? Now, it's difficult to comprehend how far we come from celebrating Christ's birth to celebrating the Industrial Revolution. Sometimes we do lip service to acknowledging his birth. We read the Nativity story and we go to church and we more often in that week than except possibly Easter. And we generally tend to be nicer to people so that we might get more things. Remember, Santa is watching. In reality, the Advent season should be a spiritual check on our walk with Christ. Remember the Magi went several thousand miles to locate Christ and worship Him. Surely over the next four weeks, we can go several miles. <laughs>